Okay, we're about to come into the pinnacle of the Jewish festive season, that of Shmini Atzeret and Simchat Torah. Now, many people think that Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur is the height of the Jewish year. And indeed, these days are very important days, but they are just really the starting point in terms of our spirituality. They are days of awe. They are days of awareness or reawakening of awareness that Hashem is in our life. But the true goal of our spirituality is to serve Hashem out of tremendous joy and love. And this is what the festival of Sukkot enables us to do. After going through Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, we reawaken that awareness and now we serve Hashem immersively with the Sukkah and also with the four species, the idea, uh, the idea of unity, and we come close to Hashem out of tremendous love. Now, that is not quite the heights. The highest level is now what we're going into, Shemini Atzeret and Simchat Torah. We no longer need the Sukkah. We no longer need the four species or any external things to remind us of that relationship. On the days of Shemini Atzeret and Simchat Torah, we're left with that closeness, that feeling of warmth and connection to Hashem. And my blessing for you is that you should always feel that. Hashem is always within us. He's part of our lives. We're part of a beautiful world. And Simchat Torah, Shemini Atzeret is feeling that joy. Now in Sheni, we are celebrating with two very special people on Simchat Torah, that of Joshua Simons, who is going to be a Chatan Torah, representing the finishing of our cycle of the reading of the Torah. And we have Mark Cohen, who is going to be a Chatan Bereshit, restarting the Torah again. Because the big question is, after we've had these insp inspiring days, Rosh Hashanah, Yom Kippur, Sukkot, Shemini Atzeret and Simchat Torah, how are we going to continue that inspiration? And the answer is the Torah. We're about to restart this beautiful cycle. The Torah is our manual for life. The word Torah means instruction. How do we know how to live life in a beautiful, connected way? The answer is the Eight Chayim, the tree of life, the Torah, which gives us inspiration. So let's take this inspiration to the last days. Mazel tov to Josh and Mazel tov to Mark. I wish you all a Chag Sameach.